But now we've seen what OnePlus are giving us in the OnePlus 8 Pro this year. Thanks to official posts by OnePlus themselves, we know about the screen, 120 hertz, Quad HD Plus. That's a top spec, and we also know about the possibility of a brand new tailor-made Sony camera sensor, not from themselves, but by a few leaks that we've seen come out of China. And that would be something that OnePlus really need to implement if they are to up the quality of the camera to bring it more in line with other flagships. But there's something that OnePlus have never considered putting into their phones. Because according to Pete Lau himself, the technology is just far inferior. Well, the true reason why they've never implemented wireless charging in OnePlus devices before is probably more to do with cost and the fact that they share Oppo's production lines and Oppo have never included it either. But things have moved on in the charging world recently, especially with Oppo, who last year really led the charge in terms of quick charging technologies. We now see Oppo, and that also means OnePlus, Realme, and Vivo using 50 watt, 55 watt, even 65 watt wired fast charging in their phones. Still no wireless charging though, but things may be changing very soon. Rumors are rife that the OnePlus 8 series is finally going to feature wireless charging, something that we can live without, but when Apple, Samsung, Huawei, even Xiaomi all include this in their flagships and even now starting to include it in their mid-range phones, it's something that OnePlus cannot really put off any longer. Well, today we got even more confirmation that OnePlus might be giving it to us in the OnePlus 8 series in the form of OnePlus officially joining the wireless power consortium. This is something that is compulsory for smartphone makers to join if they are to offer wireless charging in their phones. This also comes after Oppo a short while back also joined it too. So can we expect wireless charging in the OnePlus 8 phones? Rumors are really clear that it's going to be the first time we see wireless charging in a OnePlus 8 device. Wireless charging is something that every other flagship offers and it's about time that OnePlus included it too. Wireless charging now can go up to 30 watts or more. That's how quickly the charging specifications have come on in the last 12 months. That is the same speed that OnePlus are currently offering in their Watt Charge wired charging solution. So there's no reason why they shouldn't include it. More information from Oppo and their latest flagship phone, the Find X2, which is gonna be very similar to the OnePlus 8 Pro gives us some more information about what we can expect from those devices. The Find X2 Pro will offer 65 watt wired fast charging that should be able to charge the battery in just over 30 minutes from 0 to 100%. So we can expect something similar from the OnePlus 8 Pro at least when that comes out. OnePlus may not exactly match the full 65 watts that Oppo are gonna give us in the Find X2 Pro. They don't always exactly match the specifications of Oppo devices, but it looks like those two phones this year are going to be very similar, with Realme offering 50 watt in their flagship phone. It means that OnePlus really can't choose anything below 50 watt. So we should expect something around 55, 60, or even 60 watt wire charging, plus hopefully wireless charging at 30 watts or more. That would be a great spec for the phone. Truly wireless earbuds using TWS have have also been rumored for the same launch event as the OnePlus 8 phones. These will be very similar to AirPods and work in the same way, be completely wireless. We've seen Realme and Oppo release very similar products already, and it is heavily expected that OnePlus are going to release their own version at the launch event. A OnePlus smartwatch has also seen a lot of rumors over the past six months but this one probably isn't too close. Over the last couple of days, Oppo released a picture of what they're working on, a smartwatch under the Oppo brand that will again look very much like the Apple Watch and also give almost exactly the same features as that one does. There's no reason why that shouldn't also feed into OnePlus and Realme making similar sorts of products under their own brands. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.